And our big story at four, help from the Badger State. Vice President Mike Pence visits a company making ventilators in Madison. It's GE Healthcare. Right but, there, the big plant there. Yeah, absolutely, Ben. But Democrats once again are blaming the administration for not doing enough to help the state. Our political reporter Jason Calby has the latest from Madison. Vice President Mike Pence toured the facility here that's creating ventilators 24-7. He says 300 Wisconsinites are on ventilators and the state has another 1,400 ready to go. Inside this factory, they've doubled production. Overall, GE partnering with Ford says they'll build 50,000 ventilators by July and then 30,000 each month after. That's part of the federal government's goal of 100,000 ventilators in 100 days. Because of all of your efforts, because of what the American people have done, because of our incredible health care workers, no American who has required a ventilator has been denied a ventilator. And I must tell you that. Uh, uh, that's an incredible comfort to millions of Americans, and it's an incredible tribute to each and every one of you. But Democrats blame the administration for not doing enough to help Wisconsin. Congressman Mark Pocan says the state asked for 60,000 plastic tips for tests and only received 2,800. Where the hell is the federal response for places like Wisconsin? If we can't test, we can't open up. FEMA's regional administrator says the global demand just cannot keep up with the supply. Still, the White House Coronavirus Task Force is taking credit for helping coordinate the delivery to Wisconsin of 1.7 million surgical and procedural masks. Democrats say the state purchased some of those from the private sector. Here in Madison, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.